My name is Ruvio Surya. I'm the CEO and founder of Ready at Dawn Studios and the creative director on The Order 1886. The Order actually is a game that uh, takes place in post-industrial revolution Europe in uh, London. The reason why actually we chose London specifically for the time and the game that we're making is because right after the post-industrial revolution, London was this kind of uh, center of like ideas of people that passed through. Uh, and there was a lot of interesting things that happened around the world that actually revolved around Europe, but specifically London. And there's a certain beauty to the city that, uh, that I think we're trying to recapture in the game that we're making right now. When we built the, the, the IP and when we built the game, one of the things we wanted to do through the game was bring this filmic aspect to, uh, to games, uh, to game making. I think a few studios are already doing that. So you have a tendency to have games being very clean, cameras being very, very perfect. Uh, but the reality is that it's the imperfection that makes things perfect. It's the imperfection that makes things real. And we rebuilt that in the game by making real lenses that we emulate in, in game, but that will give you a vi visual fidelity and visual uh, imperfection, I want to say, to the game. So my name's Nate Fox. I'm game director on Infamous Second Son. And at Gamescom this week, we're showing off New trailer features a character named Fetch with these neon powers that our hero gets. In Infamous Second Son, Delson has the ability to uh, copy the powers from other conduits into himself. So he's always on the lookout for these superhumans. And Fetch is one that he meets, who's this kind of um, a dangerous woman. I don't want to tell you too much, because it'll ruin the story. But uh, it's supposed to say, there are a lot of superhumans in the game, and you, through your actions, help dictate where their life goes. You change their story. Damn, I love meeting new people. Uh, my name is David Cage, I'm the writer and director of Beyond Two Souls, and we're here at Gamescom to make some big announcements about big things about the game. So Beyond Two Souls will offer uh, what we call the duo mode, which will allow two players to play together at the same time, one controlling Jody uh, Holmes with the human character and the other player uh, controlling Aiden with the entity. And we added an extra layer on this because we uh, wanted to allow people who are maybe not used to the DualShock controller to still enjoy the game. So we developed a, a specific interface for um, uh, mobile phones and, and tablets. Well, in Beyond Two Souls, we have about 23 different endings, but more than different endings, we have different paths leading up different, to different endings. So there are many different ways of playing the scenes and, and actions have consequences that, that alter the plot. We wanted to create this very emotional experience with Beyond Two Souls and, and we had Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe, but we really thought from the beginning that having a great soundtrack was something absolutely key. I mean, the name of Hans Zimmer was absolutely, absolutely uh, obvious. He worked on so many fantastic films and created so many fantastic soundtracks. So it was a, a very interesting exercise for him and I think he really enjoyed it. 